Oh God. Whoa. Okay, ain't nobody fucking with my click, 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 click. Ain't nobody fresher than my motherfucking click, 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 click. As I look around, they don't do it like my click, 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 click. And all these bad bitches, man. They... Welcome y'all. Welcome back to the Red Mooski vlog. As you know, I'm Red. I'm Mooski. Yes, and today we have a special guest. I'm Liz. We will not put her Twitter up there. She has like five dollars. No. Thank you. They don't know how to Two spell. Two S's. They don't know how to spell. No. <laughs> We're gonna cut that out. So. <laughs> And as you can see, it's not a sausage party for this debate. It's just, I have two females this time. Uh, they, they're going to help me debate about the good music album that just dropped, Cruel Summer. We're going to start off uh, talking about what you guys liked about this album. If you like this album, we're going to throw it to Mooski. Um, after listening to it for a while, my first impression of it, I didn't like it very much. Show did. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I hated it, it was just, on you. nah, you, you, you know I love Kanye, okay? She, um, quote unquote, she said it was uh, weak sauce, she said it was super weak. It was, it was just not what I was expecting, and this was because half the album we already heard before, so that was a big disappointment, and I did like it overall. Um, I could have done without Creepers by Kid Cudi. Oh. Um, Sorry. It was okay. My gooch. That was a great record. <laughs> it was okay. Um, I did like Bliss. That grew on me, though. Uh, I guess that's more like a female song. And um, I did like Sin City and In the Morning the Best of the new songs. Of course, I already like Click, Mercy, New God Flow. Um, I thought Pusha T really did well on this album. He was on, like, every song almost, so... Okay. Overall, I'll give it like an 8 if I had not heard all the other songs before. Uh, I just want to say, Mooski, you ain't shit for backtracking like that. First you said it was weak sauce, then you changed your mind. I told you, I told I tech, I should pull, I should pull out the tech. I should pull out the iPhone. I ain't going to do that because I ain't got the iPhone 5 and I don't want people to be fucking with me about still having the 4. I think I want to touch on that. It's kind of the same thing that happened with My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Uh, people that heard most of the tracks first is like, I don't get why people are calling this a classic, but over time it didn't matter what song you heard first, because when you go back and listen to it, does, sometimes you forget what song you heard first, you listen to the whole album, it's a great album. Uh, Liv, what were your favorite uh, moments on that album? Um, it was kind of like, it's not really like a turn up, and it's not really like chill, it's like in this weird like middle thing. That's Kanye, on. go ahead. Yeah, well that is Kanye, but like normally I can vibe with Kanye, and I was trying to find the vibe. I couldn't really find it. But then again, I haven't listened to it like as heavily, so that might change my mind. But there was some some cuts, good features. Mm -hmm. And with, which is a great segue, we're going to talk about the features on this album. What were your favorite features? Were there any features you hated? Like what, what, yes. was the, what was the wax sauce <laughs> on this album? The wax sauce, no, weak sauce. Mm -hmm. Um, The Dream. I was really disappointed. Yeah, that was random. It was, yeah, it was kind of random. Like, usually his songs are good. I don't know. It made me not want to listen to the song at all. I don't listen to it because his part is so long in the beginning. Um, usually songs that he's on, he can be okay on the hook, you know. But yeah, he did too much. Uh, Mace was random, who was also Don't you song. dare say shit about Mace. Mace Just is a it legend. it was random, not that I didn't like it. Hey, Lucy fucking tripping. Mace is a motherfucking legend. I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll say it again, just like I said in the video. Mace is a motherfucking legend. You don't say things like that about Mace. He What he did for the game in the late 90s. The man retired at the age of 20. You gotta respect what 20 year old can leave on top like that. Which is kind of weird because Kanye had that line, don't leave while you hot. That's how Mace screwed up. And then now Mace is on the album. I don't know why he was super hyped about Mace though. Wasn't that great. Now, Liv, I remember you telling me earlier that uh, you you actually liked the song with Cuddy, Creepers. Yeah, it was very Cuddy esque. Yeah, very I love Cuddy. Well, he was being his normal. What was your What was your favorite line on that song? Because she, you had the oh, same yeah. favorite line as me. Oh that. yeah, what did he say? Oh yeah, if he could have a wish, he would wish for more wishes. Duh. Duh. 
that part was funny. It's not that I dislike the song. It's just weird that that's the only song with just one person on it. And it, it felt was like Cuddy's song. Yeah. It was the song. Was kind of yeah. Overshadowed. It, it seems like it was just like put on there. But that's um, also so, yeah, he's good music. Yeah, he, he, but he's, he's on like all good. their, but Cuddy, he, like ad lists. Yeah, and But Cuddy, you know, he's, like, like you said, he's Mr. Solo Dolo. He's, he's not really a person you have like on for features unless you're doing the hook. So I understand why they would give him like his own solo song, like, I don't, cause I don't, who would you put on that song with him, or how would you fit him? But he him is on first? like all their hooks. That's that's why I said he's good for hooks, but I'm saying like featured him like for a verse or anything. Yeah, I guess that's you true. You know, you're gonna put Cuddy on an album. Yeah. I understand, cause it's a compilation yeah. album, you know, so it's a different amount of artists. Shy the Prince was good. Oh, they yeah, just have um a video on World Star with them all freestyling on there. It was like Pusha him and Common. I mean, I guess Pusha didn't actually do it, but Sai went hard. He like yeah. went the hardest. Yeah, Sai, Sai, you know, he's good with the verses. And Big Sean. He's yeah, good too, and Big Sean did good. Now, I want to talk about Pusha T. Pusha T, you, I think he got the most play on this album, I think. He I did. Think he, yeah, he got yeah, a lot. Definitely. But I, I actually, I'm not mad at it, because I like how he starts off verses. He's the best verse starter yeah. today. Like, he, you, even if he doesn't snap the rest of the verse, he... Gives you that feeling like this is about to be epic before he starts. Yeah. Don't like. I don't like. And uh, and new guy and new new guy, new guy flow. Guy flow. Crazy, yeah. I put yeah. holes in everything else. Yeah. New guy flow. Fuck like, everything like, else. I feel like that's why he chose those songs to put out like as singles. Yeah. yeah. Those were all like yeah. the the turn up songs. And he needed and he needed that put it for that aggressiveness to balance out. You know the John Legend and the Dream and Cuddy and shit on the album. No disrespect to them. They they all did a good job. Well. Yeah. Except the dream, yeah. in y'all opinion. Yeah, Push is always that nigga. He is that nigga. He's definitely deserving. I think he's underrated too, but he's getting more shine now, so that's nice. Yeah. But, uh, what would you give this album as far as generation on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, maybe like a 7. Give it a 7? What yeah. if it was not as many songs Eight. that you heard before? Yeah. Still probably. Still seven? It was just weird to me. It like, definitely seemed, like, um, I, there I was like an article vibe. that said it was like his laziest work, which is probably yeah. true. Yeah, that's probably like, true. I just felt like it wasn't like He's complete. usually a perfectionist, yeah. and it was just like, okay, it's kind of just like thrown up. Which brings me to one of our final points, like him releasing so much stuff, which he doesn't have to do. Oh, yeah. They, they, proved, they proved that with like Watch the Throne with him and Jay-Z, like where they kept everything secret. The only thing we heard was Otis. That made that made the final cut of that album, and they kept everything secret, and they decided to release it, so it was all new to us. He doesn't have well, to. He doesn't have to. I heard he heard before, way before then. I'm saying, I'm saying, but like, he doesn't have to release songs for promotional things. He oh, can, yeah. he can say, hey, I'm dropping an album tomorrow, and that shit will sell. Yeah. People will be on it, and it, and it will sell records. I just feel like the overall. Do so you think that hurt? Like you think that hurt the album? That that uh. They, Not so much, cause anything he puts out, like if it's good, it's yeah. good. Period. Like doesn't matter if he put out fucking shit every day. Glad to be a part of this this episode because you know it was three people who knew what they were talking about other than Drew. Okay, we don't need Drew's <laughs> bullshit on the tapes. Um, yeah, but overall, I mean, you know, it was cool. Cruel Summer was a great album. That was a really good album. I thought it was really. I think yeah, kind of did hurt at first that we heard half of the track before we heard it. But just like my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Months later, we're not going to care about that because I can still play that album all the way through, both "Cruel Summer" and "My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy." So it's still a, it's still a great album. I give I give that album an eight. I give it an eight. It was a lazy effort, but it was still good quality music, and it was still way better than the MMG album. I probably made hella weird faces, but that's okay. Liv, what the fuck was that you were doing with your lip ring, though? What the look? Well, watch the video. She, I still fuck with you though. I still fuck with you, Liv. I would not, I, I, but I love Liv. I can never say anything bad about Liv. I don't ever say anything bad about any girl that can windmill dunk on me. CD was good. Um, it definitely grows on you, so keep listening. It'll get better. Mooski said that the shit was weak sauce, and I told her the album will grow on you. Maybe it'll grow on you. She said, nah, it's not going to grow on me. Wrong. Fucking wrong, wrong moose, wrong as always. It grew on you, I knew it, and you gave it an eight, you fucking Kanye lover. You're so biased. So, uh, signing off, I'm Red. Mooski, Liv. 
And I would thank you all for joining us, and thank you all for coming being on the show. Yeah. Hey. That's the game. Fucked up. My click. And all these bad bitches, man, they want the.